In today's video, I'm going to give you inspiration and fun kind of ideas that you can make, uh, cocktails that you can make with Monin's candy floss, or as they call it, cotton candy syrup. Uh, it just tastes like candy floss, you know, that stuff that you get when you go to the fair. Now, if you want to have even more fun and garnish up uh, these cocktails with proper candy floss, by all means, be my guest. I was just trying to keep it faff free, hassle free. We've kind of got a uh, French 75 flip, so I've got a candy floss uh, 75. Stay tuned for the gin in that. I've kind of got a, a candy floss highball. There's guava notes in there and coconuts in there. But this one, it's only a riff on the Porn Star Martini. So cocktail one is a simple riff on a French 75. I've just called it the Candy Floss 75. If you've got a better name, drop it below. Uh, obviously, we're going for Monin's Candy Floss or Cotton Candy Syrup, as they call it. Uh, the gin I wanted to use for this, because this will per perfectly is Whitney Neal's Quince's Gin. Uh, Quince will give you apple and pear flavors. It's absolutely delicious. Feel free to kind of have a little play about. Plain gin, let the candy floss do the work. Um, raspberry gin would be another good one. Gooseberry gin, blackberry gin, whatever you kind of fancy, just have a little play. Uh, I've just got some lemon juice. I've got some rosé uh, Prosecco and I haven't used this for ages, but I've just got some uh, sort of sh dull, uh, silver shimmer and we're just going to put a little shimmer through the cocktail. So as this is going in the champagne flute, I don't often do that in my videos, but I'm going to be all proper. Uh, I'm gonna actually going to chill, chill the glass down so that it's nice and cold and set it to one side. Shaking cocktail. Uh, so the first ingredient I'm going to go for is this candy floss uh, syrup or cotton candy syrup. Again, up to you. If you want it slightly sweeter, add a bit more. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm just going for 15 ml, half an ounce, because that will be perfect for me. Next ingredient I'm going for is Whitley Neal's Quince Gin Apple Pear Flavors. As I say, just get inspired, use whatever you fancy. Uh, but I'm going for just 30 ml, one ounce. Next ingredient I'm going for is just some lemon juice. This stuff is great to have around. It's just 100% lemon juice, tiny bit of antioxidant to keep it shelf stable, cheap as chips. Uh, but just use fresh lemon juice if you'd prefer. Uh, 15 ml, half an ounce. Now just quickly before the shake, I'm gonna add a bit of the shimmer to it. Uh, so I'm just gonna, I haven't used it for a while. Um, I'm just gonna add just about kind of like half a bar spoon, a bit less, but there we go. About, about a half a bar spoon of shimmer. I've never done this before. I normally just shake with ice, but I'm just gonna give it a quick dry shake just to combine that shimmer in. Yeah, lovely, that's working. And then I'm just gonna ice up the glass and then we're gonna give it a good hard shake for about 10 to 12 seconds as always. Ready, go! When you are out of breath, just get rid of your ice that's chilling your uh, champagne flute down. And then I'm just gonna single strain, you can double strain if you want, but single strain Actually, I will double strain. Don't want any little tiny shards of ice. Then I'm just gonna to top up with my Prosecco. Hopefully, on the close-up, you can see the shimmer in the cocktail. I'm not sure whether that'll pick it up, but hopefully it will. Maybe if I stand there on a the black background, maybe you'll see it. But I'm just gonna to top up with um, just some pink Prosecco. Oh, now we get the shimmer. And then just to garnish, I've just pulled a couple of raspberries out of my freezer. I've got frozen raspberries. Well, next in cocktail I'm going for, I've just called it Candy Floss Highball. I'm terrible at naming cocktails, so please uh, come up with names in your comments below. Hit us up with your suggestions. Ingredients, back to Monin's Candy Floss Syrup. Uh, I've got my favorite go-to kind of white rum. Uh, and then I've got Malibu Liqueur, everyone's favorite coconut rum. If you have got Dead Man's Fingers coconut, if you have got uh, a Luna, if you have got Coco Canu, the highest strength ABV, or if you're in the US, Shipwreck Rum, the highest strength ABV co proper coconut rums, feel free to just use your coconut rum. But as I say, most people, you probably have Malibu, so you kind of do a split thing. If you want to use Bacardi and a bit of Malibu, Malibu is a lower ABV, that's why we kind of pep it up a little bit with a proper rum but Bacardi, Havana, whatever you fancy. Uh, and then I've got some uh, lemon juice and I've got one of my favorite sodas, uh, guava soda. So shaking cocktail uh, and I'm going for my first ingredient. This is the candy floss syrup. As I always say, you know, if you want a bit sweeter, add a bit more syrup. It's no problem. I just know my palate. So I'm going for 15 ml, which is half an ounce of this candy floss syrup. 
Next ingredient I'm going for is my rum. Uh, and I just want uh, 45 ml actually, one and a half ounces of uh, decent, decent rum. Here we go. Now I'm just going for a bit of Malibu uh, coconut liqueur. Uh, I'm just going for 15 ml, half an ounce, but if you want more coconut vibrant, feel free, add a bit more, but this will be perfect for me. Bit of coconut fun, 15 ml. Now my final ingredient before the shake is just some lemon juice. If you've got fresh lemon juice, that's cool. This stuff is just long life, shelf stable, perfect. Uh, so 15 ml, half an ounce of lemon juice. So same as always, just gonna add plenty of ice and then we're gonna have a good hard and fast shake for 10 to 12 seconds. Right, and when you are out of breath and that's nice and proper cold, uh, final ingredient is your guava soda. Uh, and again, I do 60 mil. If you wanna add a bit more, that is absolutely fine by me, but 60 mil, two ounces of guava soda. Now just to serve this up, I'm going for a highball glass. By all means, do a dirty dump, shake and dump, use that ice that's in there. But if you wanna be all proper, uh, fresh ice in your glass. Uh, and then I'm just gonna single strain over the top. Lovely, jubbly. And then to garnish, I'm going for, if I find them, I'm going for, because uh, I love using these now, uh, dehydrated pineapple. I think that'll be perfect. Just like a dehydrated pineapple. And I've actually got like a, Pineapple leaf here for a pineapple spit. There we go. How's that? Right, for the, your final cocktail, just move those. I'm not sure that was actually in shot, but there we go. Uh, so everyone loves a porn star martini, so I've created a candy star martini. Uh, I've got Monin's candy floss syrup. Uh, we've got vanilla vodka. I've got Pessoa passion fruit liqueur, lime juice. Instead of passion fruit juice, I've got cranberry juice. And because I want to mimic the froth, I always put froth in my porn star martinis because of the juice I use and the puree. Uh, I've got some still a bump foamers because cranberry juice won't froth. So obviously a shaken cocktail again. So first ingredient, uh, is our candy floss syrup. And again, uh, and I think you need to stick to this. I'm going for 15 mil, half an ounce of candy floss syrup. Next ingredient I'm going for is my vanilla vodka. I love JJ's because it's just super vibrant in vanilla notes. Uh, I'm going for 45 mil, one and a half ounces of vanilla vodka. Then I'm going for probably the most popular liqueur in the, U in the UK for the Paul Star Martinis. Um, 15 mil of Persoa, half an ounce. Is the best passion fruit liqueur, of course it is. Then I'm just gonna add 15 mil of lime juice, fresh or this stuff, whatever takes your fancy. There you go, 15 mil, half an ounce. Then I'm gonna do 60 mil of um, cranberry juice. No, this is actually cranberry and raspberry juice because I don't like normal cranberry, but I love cranberry and raspberry. So 60 mil, two ounces of that. Then as I say, because I want the froth, I'm just going for still a bunch magic foamers. And we just need eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do an experiment. I'm gonna do six drops. Then I'm gonna dry shake for about five seconds just to take the cocktail from that to that. Look at that, that's all proper frothed up. Then I'm just gonna ice up my glass and we're gonna give it the smells. We're gonna give it a good hard and fast shake for 10 to 12 seconds. Proper welling. And again, when you're out of breath, <laughs> uh, this is going in a coupe glass. And I'm just going to double strain. This is gonna be amazing. There we go, perfect. Look at that. And then just to garnish, might have to have a little sip. because we're encroaching on the porn star martini territory, we got a passion fruit. If you want even more morning cocktail inspiration, dive into that video or playlist that's sitting right there. As always, big thumbs up if you like the video and the recipes. And if you don't want to miss any of our future content, make sure you subscribe to the channel.